welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a little different of a video. It has absolutely nothing to do with my makeup, but it has everything to do with my obsession with bandanas. I'm like straight obsessed with bandanas. I have a lot. And so I basically just wanted to show you guys my collection. Wanted to show you different ways you can wear them, different ways you can, well, I wanted to show you the best way to store them. In my opinion, I kind of didn't see this anywhere. I just came up with this because I have so many. Before we get into this, I just want to say go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed already. I do mostly do beauty videos, so I don't know if this is really beauty, but I mean, it deals with the way you look, so. Yeah, beauty, bandanas. <laughs> we'll just go ahead and get started. Okay, so I think first I want to kind of show you my collection. Oh God. I think I've mostly gotten all my bandanas at like Hobby Lobby or Walmart. I wanna say that's where my collection came from. Mm -hmm mostly. I look for them everywhere. If I see a bandana that I don't have on and I like it, I'm like, I gotta have it. So I think I have 16 different colors, styles, um, designs, shirt. Sure, I don't know. These are all of like the classic bandana, uh, the classic bandana style paisley, I want to say. So I have all these different colors. I don't have red which is like the classic color that like, I guess everybody should have. I just don't personally like the way that like red looks on me. So that's why I haven't gotten that one. I have the maroon one, which I really like. It's far enough from red that I'm okay with it. And then I do have, this is my only red one. So I will say I have one red one. This is not the classic one, obviously. Otherwise it would have been in that pile. It, this is like a plaid. This is the only red one I have, and this is also the only plaid one I have. And then I have one that's similar to the classic one, but it has roses on it. It's very pretty. It's a little twist on the classic. I have polka dots. I have, ooh, the Halloween one. It has skulls on it, and then it says them bones, like an orange. This pink one. It's got like a, I don't know, cool design. This is sort of similar to the classic design, but it's a little different and it's all pinky and whatnot. These last two are like my favorite ones when I want to wear like not just like one of the classic ones. So I really like this one because it's like sunset-y, I don't know. And this one just looks vintage-y to me, which I really like. And the thing I really like about this one is this one could really look like two totally different ones. So it looks orange. Well, it is orange, obviously. But in the middle, it's blue. So depending on how you fold it, it could look like two totally different bandanas. So I normally fold all of my bandanas into like a headband and that's really how I wear them. So that's also how I store them. So I wanted to show you the two different ways that I fold my bandanas depending on the style I'm going for. So whenever I am folding my bandanas into a headband, I always fold them into a triangle and it really depends on the kind of look that you want. If you want to have this part showing or if you want to have the corner part showing on which way you start folding it. So with this one, I was, I did have it folded like this. You just start rolling it depending on how thick you want it. And then when you get towards the end there, if it fits perfectly to the end and like you don't have any like a little bit extra, that's great. But if it does get to be a little bit further out here and it's not enough to do a full, a full wrap, I usually just fold in the 
corner and just fold it down like that so that way you'll just have it like that so whenever you put it on your head you'll have this part touching your head so that way this part will show the other way to do it is to basically turn it around and do the same thing but just completely the opposite so you start folding the corner in This one I find to be a little more difficult um, to keep and it's like what the way that you want it at times. For me, I like the way that I store my bandanas really helps keep their shape. So that's why I I fold them the way that I want them and then the and then I'll store them and then they stay like this. Like this one was folded just like that, but it's gonna stay because it's been folded like that for a while so it has all these or folds that'll make it stay so so that's the two ways that you can fold the head the bandana to make it into a headband and then I want to show you guys how I store them the best way that I can I have this basket full of all my bandanas and the way that I roll them up like this I fold I fold the bandana in half and then I start rolling the not loose end like this and then when you get to the point where there's just like a little bit left here I grab it like this and then I twist the the ends here a couple times and then I wrap them around to the other side and tie them in a knot but just once I don't tie them in like a double knot so just like that the reason I like storing them like this is so that I can still see the design of what it is without having to like completely unroll it or anything like that so I can see when I'm going through my stash, I'm like, oh, okay, I want this bandana because I know which one it looks like. So before I started storing my bandanas like that, it was like a huge mess and it looked so disorganized and I hated it because I really like things to be organized. Well, I guess if you have seen my makeup collection video, you know how organized I am with all my makeup. but before I did that it would just drive me nuts so now I have all my bandanas in this longer burger basket and I'm I'm so happy and I do want to contribute a lot of this organization of the bandanas to my mom because she is actually the one who helped me come up with this idea of rolling them so shout out to you mom I appreciate you so um this is just one of the ways I wear my bandanas. I did want to show you guys a couple other hairstyles that I wear when I wear my bandanas just to give you guys some variety. Let's just go ahead and get into that portion of the video.
you've seen me wearing a bandana, I'm usually wearing it like this because it's on a day where I don't give a flying heck about my hair and my hair is up in a bun and I just want to put a bandana on to like add some color or something. So the problems I have when I wear bandanas is like when right here it'll come to like slip up towards the back of my head. So a way that I have found to have that not happen is a couple bobby pins and I just clip it in my hair and on the bandana like this one on each side and it literally stays put until I take it off just make sure you're going in the opposite direction of your the where you want your bandana to go so that is it for my bandana video if you have any suggestions or you know where I can get some more bandanas let me know. I haven't even checked Amazon yet. I should probably check Amazon. Um, but if you have any other ideas, I really want to know. But if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. When did this happen? When did this happen? Just in case anybody wanted to know, this is my favorite band.